Now, Kendrick Lamar's first week sales has uh, a lot of people talking right now. I wanted to give my take on it because uh, why not? Let's talk about it. Now, King Kendrick has uh, been back for a little over a week at this point. His album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, which dropped on May 13, is most definitely starting a lot of conversations. I don't want to spoil my opinion on it yet since I'm working on a review, but I'll say this. This is a great album, man. And part of me feels like people aren't really paying attention to the theme of this album. I think the majority of this album actually went over a lot of people's head. And uh, maybe that's why the sales look the way they look, so... Let's talk about that. Leading up to this very much anticipated release from Kendrick, a lot of us have uh, been curious to see what kind of numbers he's going to be doing as far as first week sales. Since he was gone for over five years, is that going to have a positive or negative impact on those first week sales? What kind of numbers is Kendrick going to be doing? That's been the question, right? So the official numbers for the album are in now, and uh, Kendrick did 295k in first week sales for his album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. So let's talk about these numbers. Off the rip, I just want to say this. These are definitely underwhelming numbers for Kendrick Lamar standards. I don't know about you, but in my mind, Kendrick was going to do 400,000 first week in his sleep. But that was obviously before I listened to the album, and I'll get into that in a second. Now, damn, his last full-length project, which of course dropped back in 2017, that album did over 600,000 in first week sales, specifically 603,000. So just looking at that, comparing those sales to what this project did, the drop in sales is immense, which does make these numbers extremely underwhelming. The question though is why? Why did this album have such a big drop in first week sales in comparison to his last release? There's a couple things I want to bring up as far as that. First of all, the new Billboard bundle rules definitely had an effect on these numbers. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, back in 2020, Billboard announced that album bundles were not going to count towards sales anymore. They made this change because they wanted to eliminate the effect bundles were having on not only the charts, but also sales in general. I think this was a great move because a lot of artists were manipulating the bundle strategy in order to boost their sales and performance of their music in general. Kendrick, I wouldn't say manipulated it, but he did benefit from it when he dropped Damn. More than half of the sales from Damn actually came from traditional album sales. We're talking over 353,000 of those 600,000 sales coming from physical copies, which is insane. So essentially, Damn did better in physicals than actual streaming and uh, uh, with most artists, that's the complete opposite. Damn did have album bundles, by the way. There were a couple different bundle options for the project. As an example, Kendrick dropped four digital editions of the album that were only available through his official website. The digitals were available for two days, so between April 18 and April 20. Along with each digital edition came an autographed vinyl or a Damn CD. So it does make sense why that release did so well in terms of physicals, and also it makes a lot of sense why Damn did over 600,000 first week. This time around for this project, all that got thrown out the window because billboard alter their rules right kendrick is clearly one of those artists who was really thriving off of physical sales and uh, now that that's gone 295k first week is the outcome another aspect of these sales is what the album actually sounds like this is honestly not a very stream friendly album it's one of those albums that i don't think has a lot of replay value to the average kendrick lamar fan i actually don't think this album has a lot of replay value to most listeners in this particular generation that we're living in some people might hear that and say sounds like you're making a bunch of excuses for kendrick I I think it's only an excuse if I didn't recognize the fact that these sales are extremely underwhelming for Kendrick standard. That is a fact. If we only look at these numbers and don't consider anything else, it's what we call an L. Twitter would certainly agree with that because a lot of people on there are currently clowning these sales. I think context matters though and for this Kendrick Lamar release, the context is what the album actually sounds like. This doesn't sound like an album that could even do the kind of numbers Damn did. Even though Damn wasn't my favorite Kendrick project, one thing about that album is it was very easy to digest. Even after the first listen, Personally, I had a very strong urge to go back to it. For this Kendrick album, that wasn't the case. I had to listen to it a couple times before I really started appreciating it. Another aspect of these sales is we live in a different time in comparison to five years ago when Damn dropped. Kendrick definitely took a risk with dropping this kind of album during a time like this. Personally, I really don't think people were ready to hear an album like this. On top of that, the man was gone for five years. And as for that, I was thinking exactly like a lot of other people. Since he's been gone for such a long time, this album is going to be an extremely powerful bang, which it's been powerful, but it it hasn't been as powerful as we thought it would have been. So these Kendrick first week sales, you could call this a failure strictly based on the numbers and Kendrick's track record. Personally, I'm not going to call the album a failure because of these numbers though. Yes, the first week sales should have been higher and they do tell us something, but not the whole story. At the end of the day, man, this is a great body of work. And I think this is the kind of album we'll still be talking about a year from now, which is why I'm personally not going to hyper focus on these first week sales. But yeah, Kendrick's first week sales. Any thoughts on it? Like we covered, Kendrick's album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers ended up selling 295k first week. 
Any thoughts on it? Do you guys think these numbers are underwhelming or nah? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh, like this video, like this video, like this video, like this video. Let's subscribe about this.